critical clue that could help police tra track down a killer. Surveillance video showing the final hours before a woman was murdered, her body set on fire. Who killed the 26-year-old model after she left the South Florida nightclub? It's a murder mystery police are working hard now to solve. And our team's Audrey Hepkins live for us at the last place she was seen, Club Space in downtown Miami. I'm Greg, we know the young woman came to Club Space to party with her boyfriend last Saturday night. Now we got our hands on some surveillance video showing the woman leaving this club around 7.20 Sunday morning. And the victim's boyfriend's attorney says that video was taken about 20 minutes after her boyfriend got bounced out of the club and hopped into a cab headed to a hotel in South Beach alone. She walks out and this guy comes from this angle right after she walks out meets up with this bouncer, they both walk out together. This is surveillance video from Club Space in downtown Miami around 7.20 a.m. Sunday morning. That's the same day 26-year-old Paula Sladuski went missing. Her body was found badly burned in this North Miami dumpster. Sladuski arrived at the club with her boyfriend, Kevin Clem, but the two had a fight inside the club and bouncers kicked Kevin out. They spoke with her, they came back out, and they told Kevin that she doesn't want to leave, she's staying, loud and clear, got into the cab, went back to the hotel expecting her to come soon thereafter, and we know that never happened. Clem hired an attorney and a private investigator. They say this video shows Sladuski leaving the club with a man who certainly doesn't look anything like her boyfriend. But a black male came up, took her hand, and they were hand in hand, and walked across the street, and that's the last I knew. These two say the victim's sister confirmed that we're looking at Sladuski in this video based on her looks and the dress she wore. Look closely and you'll see a blonde haired woman leaving. Then you'll see a tall man talk to the man at the door as if they're familiar with each other and they both follow the woman out of the club. And the victim's boyfriend thinks police should use this video to focus on the man in the video and not him. He's devastated. He's devastated. He loved her. They certainly had a volatile relationship but it didn't change the fact that he loved her and this whole situation is traumatizing. And he says his clients will be sticking around town to help police with their investigation as well as the victim's sister. Of course, if you're watching right now and you have any information that could help the investigation, you are urged to call that number on your screen right now, Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers, and that number is 305-471-TIPS. We are live in downtown Miami. I'm Andre Hepkins, 7 News 19.